Uh, there are X's and O's in the way you can draw up a play, but that was about as uncanny as a finish to regulation as, as the regulation can end. Can you guys kind of walk through what happened in that last play? The thing, the thing is, you think that, but we practice that exact plan, practice, and it worked just like that. I mean, obviously, he didn't tip the ball to himself. <laughs> that's, that's, we practice things like that every week. So, I mean, he just came out in the game just today. Right. Um, yeah, like we said, Thursday we ran the same play and, uh, you know, we just put it up there for me. I told him our game, just put the ball up there and I'm going to go get it for you. And uh, God forbid, I tipped it to myself and came down ready and uh, no, no, no review, so I'm good. <laughs> Front left, Larry. Roy, you've caught a lot of big passes. What does that rank in your career? Uh, I mean, it's it, it probably one, you know. <laughs> but Notre Dame last year was last year, so, you know, just coming in here and fighting and seeing our team finish strong and, you know, the seniors sticking together. And, you know, that play was for Michigan. On the left, in the middle, Mike. Hey, Roy. Um, this year, I mean, I know there's been many times at the Tuesday or Wednesday press conference we've said, hey, you're going to have as many catches this year, and you keep on putting up a positive attitude and saying, I'm going to be here for this team when my time is called. Did it feel like that today that your number was called, you rose up for this team? How good does that feel? Yeah, it felt great. You know, I'm seeing the young guys come up to me like, man, you know, you, you always stay positive, and, you know, you just show the leadership on this team being the senior. And, and you know, my calls, my plays is being called, and, you know, I just try my best to make the big play. We're in the right in the middle, Angelique. I have two questions. Right, did the defender get a hand on that ball at all, in, on the tip? Oh, no, I don't think he did. <laughs> And you're not sure? <laughs> <Okay>. That's neither here nor there. And my other question for, for Devin is, uh, I'm just wondering your comfort level now, two starts on your belt, and how you feel leading this offense. I mean, it felt great. You know, I just prepared all week, and, and I had a good idea what, the, what they were going to try to do to me. And of course, I didn't know exactly what they were going to try to do because they never played against me before. But from what I saw on film, I mean, they gave, they, they gave us what we saw. So I just felt like I tried to execute and do my best. I left, Mike. Was there, anything, Devin, was there anything specifically that you were like, I need to get better from Minnesota this week? It wasn't good. I mean, you try not to get sacked as much, and you know, just continue to lead the offense, really. That's it. And as, the way you played the last two starts, even when your heart gets healthy, do you feel like you've done enough for quarterback to say, hey, I should at least play for a little bit? I mean, this is Denar's team, and it's always going to be Denar's team until he's gone. You know, he's done way too much for, you know, two games to change that. So, I don't feel like I'll just have to do what I have to do with the other team. Devin, what does your uh, performance today mean to you? It means a win and a chance to win the Big Ten Championship. Thank you. Back left. Devin, were, were you aware that uh, Demetrius Duger was kind of filling in for the usual starter? and Was that a matchup that you're trying to favor, maybe take advantage of in key points? I mean, I try not to worry about their guys as much. I try to worry about our guys, and I feel like our guys can make plays against anyone. So it, it, that, that had nothing to do with it. Right, right, we'll go. Devin, uh, Hope was talking about your decision-making. You thought it was very good. What about, did you think you were going to be able to get that ball off when you were practically in the end zone and just barely got rid of it? And, and what were you thinking right then? Um, when I almost took his safety. Yes. Oh, uh, I just did it. <laughs> I just saw Fitz's back of his numbers, and I was going to just drill him in the back as hard as I could. <laughs> That's all I tried, to, I tried to just avoid a second, hit him as hard as I could with the ball. So that, that was really scary. And I actually told the guy they, they got me. He almost got me. <laughs> well, just just about how, how about your decision making overall, other than the, the one interception? Did you feel like uh, you did well in that regard? I mean, I feel, I feel like I did pretty good, you know, because we're just really sure that I did well. But we're going to have to watch the film because, you know, there are always things on the film that you don't you don't particularly see on the field. So you never know how I play, honestly. Middle, left, Tom. Kevin, great. Do you think it's easier for you to manage the game this season knowing that you're going to play the whole game as opposed to last season? Um, like, is there a different mentality that you were just going in for a couple plays? <laughs> I mean, definitely, and you know, watching a lot of football last year and uh, seeing guys like Tom Brady and, and Russell Wilson, how calm they are and how even and, and uh, unshaken they are, you know. So when you make mistakes, you know, you have to stay level, you know, and that, that's, I feel like that's helped me a lot.